The Diocese of Columbus, Ohio could soon absorb the neighboring Diocese of Steubenville due to declining numbers and financial problems. Church militants Nadia Bullock discusses the endangered diocese. It feels like there's a hole in my soul, put it that way. Earlier this week, Bishop Monfortin of Steubenville announced a merger is underway with the Diocese of Columbus. There has been a 45% decline in mass goers from 1990 to 2019, with fewer than 30,000 Catholics in the Steubenville Diocese. There are only 36 active priests, half are age 60 or older, and just five seminarians. Monfortin told Crux, if our numbers keep declining to a point of 10 years from now, can we even exist? Steubenville was hit by two financial scandals in 2020. The first, a former employee was caught embezzling $300,000 and failed to hand in payroll taxes. This cost the diocese more than $900,000 in interest and penalties, in addition to its $2.8 million debt to the IRS. Secondly, a priest stole more than $300,000 to pay for a luxurious lifestyle, including flying lessons. The benefits of the merger, Monfortin believes, are more resources, more personnel. It's able to absorb the impacts of the economic downturn much more than us. He's sending a survey to parishioners to give them a, quote, chance to vent, and that will be discussed and voted on in November at the USCCB General Assembly. All that information will go to the Holy See, and then a decision will be made by Pope Francis. Columbus Bishop Earl Fernandez is considered one of the decent bishops, previously speaking out on ordaining gay men as priests. Steubenville falling under this domain could possibly be a positive. Nadia Bullock, Church Militant Evening News, Detroit. Franciscan University of Steubenville is well known nationwide. It has a reputation of being authentically Catholic and it hosts youth conferences during the summer months.